that we are not going to rectify all those bottlenecks and delays or latches. What we are going to do is that we are directing the investor, foreign investor, to invest at least 50% of his investment in backend infrastructure, storage facilities, supply mechanism, and several other means of backend infrastructure. Because India is a is a large player in the horticulture sector. I think it is the second largest producer of fruits and vegetables. But it has failed to achieve the potential. Why? Because we don't have cold storages. If foods are food gets decayed, the vegetable gets decayed, intermediaries exploit farmers, and farmers eventually get what? 3, 4, 5 percent of the actual value what consumer pays. And to a great extent, it's attributable to the failure of back end infrastructure. So government is proposing to impose as a part of the policy this condition. Third is purchasing directly from farmers. They will permit the foreign investors, retailers in the multi brand to, to buy directly from the farmers. Which means they want to do away with intermediaries. Which also means that they are going to do away with agricultural marketing committee rules, Mandi, uh, uh, regime, you know, where farmers go and sell their products. Eventually everything will have to be scrapped or, you know, very many amendments will have to be moved because they are doing away with intermediaries. Then again, 30% try embargo, they want to put, they, they, they say that, you know, it will encourage the, the social sector and plus they also feel that it will encourage the exports. Because if there is a retailer, so he will go and take it to his other destinations also. So the retailer is a foreign retailer. He will take it to you know other countries. So it can definitely encourage export. That's what government thinks. And finally, government is also proposing that the retailer jo hoga, usko right nahi hoga that he will go to any part of the country and set up retail. He will they will, they will stipulate. A, 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 you know, kind of a benchmark as to population that you can actually set up retail only in big cities. The logic is because of the extreme position taken by many opposition parties and other schools of thought that it will displace the unorganized retail sector. If you talk about retail sector, retail sector disorganized or unorganized or organized, but unorganized is perhaps 97-98% organized is just 2-3% so therefore the government feels that we don't want to disturb the unorganized retail sector so therefore we will ask them to put up their shops in big cities because unorganized sector is predominantly in villages and smaller towns not in big cities they have done some kind of a survey now quickly let me take you to the debate part what is going on in, in, the, uh, in our country. The debate is very monologued in nature. And everybody will have to shut off those channels. 